It's the rain that makes all those chemicals wash out into the ocean, yeah, and we're yeah. getting more of it, Garth. On our way, beginning late tonight, uh, I think through the overnight period, we're really going to get it probably between like 2 a.m. and 10 a.m. tomorrow. Then we'll start to get a little more showery in nature. Meanwhile, above it all, there's the snow. This will not be a big snowmaker. Uh, snow elevations way up there because it's subtropical in nature. Then we get you down towards Long Beach. Pretty shot right now. Let's give you the temperature 61 degrees, winds are calm, humidity 72%. So it's nice out there right now. 41 Big Bear, 56 Lancaster, and 61 into Santa Ana. We do have a couple of wind advisories. You can see them from the Chell area down to the south, off to the east, and then the Apple and Lucerne Valleys all the way out to the border. These will be onshore winds that begin tomorrow at 10 o'clock, 30, 45, 50 mile an hour gust. That's what we're watching as the front will kind of wash through the area. There's the center of the low. There's that subtropical moisture moving up through the area. Now, as it drops down and moves over the area tonight through tomorrow, we're looking between three quarters to an inch and a quarter total of rainfall. So we should be all right for the burn areas. There are some areas that have been inundated that you'll see a little bit of movement going on, like those slopes we were talking about. But for the most part, we're not going to get rainfall rates that should cause any new problems as that continues on for us. So there's the radar right now. Light shower activity. This is prefrontal rain just kind of going through the area. Some hits the surface, some not. Right now on the 405, right across, you can see it uh, and up on the 101 over towards the 405, the San Fernando Valley, getting a little bit harmlessly falling up towards Wrightwood by the two up there just off Acton. And there's that system I was talking about or that cell a little bit ago uh, that's starting to move on shore right now towards Long Beach, down towards PV. You can see it there uh, just kind of beginning to move its way in through the area. There there's the low, there's the fetch of moisture, that's warmer air, that's why it doesn't feel that bad out. So it's not a cold core low, just pushing through, bringing us uh, cold rain into the area. And by late alert tonight, here's what's happening. By about 11.30, 12, we start to see things move in. By 1.30, there it is. The rain starts to move through the heavier amounts, but this is still reasonable. We're not pulling in huge amounts of short time rain drops that are coming down and just pummeling the burn areas through the overnight period. Like I just said, there's the worst of it through 7.30, 10 a.m. Watch what happens. We start to clear it out a little bit and start to just go showery in nature for the rest of the day on Saturday. Then we're going to get a break coming our way on Sunday. And then another heavier system looks like it still could be moving our way Tuesday evening, Wednesday through early part of Thursday. We'll have another check coming up in just a little bit. Back to you guys.